Welcome back to another edition of Electric TV, powered by the NECA IBEW team, construction's finest electricians and technicians. As always, I'm your host, Dominic Giratano. As anyone will tell you, flood control is a major concern for any resident or city manager. And with weather patterns, periods of drought and periods of wetness being as unpredictable as ever, having a functioning dam or water control system is essential for safety and also economic development. Tempe, Arizona, was facing this issue head-on recently when it was discovered its town lake sprung a leak. Here's Electric TV's Erica McClarity with the story. Water is life everywhere. But nowhere is it more of a premium than in a metropolis like Phoenix, or in the city of Tempe in particular. The Tempe Town Lake serves many purposes. It provides water to the city, recreation for its citizens and tourists, and it's a big economic driver. The problem is it's an artificial lake with a dam, and after 20 years, it was starting to leak. The previous rubber bladder, obviously, you know, it didn't perform uh, quite well in the hot Arizona climate and was always exposed to the sun and, and we had a failure in, in 2010 with the rubber bladder all of a sudden it was erupted and we lost all the lake. That's why we went with the concrete structure and, uh, and the steel gates. Enter the NECA IBEW team to help build the country's largest hydraulically operated steel gate dam system. PCL Construction chose KNF Electric and Local 640 to get this one-of-a-kind project done. Throughout the years, we've used KNF. They've had a lot of experience at the plants. Um, we feel comfortable working them. They have expertise to actually do the electrical work, but also do the startup and commissioning, a lot of the control work associated with the jobs that we do. Well, a job like this is a lot more technical than just uh, installing some lights and switches. Uh, this involves a lot of uh, motors, electronics, uh, hydraulics working together to uh, make the gates come up, everything working in sync. Uh, it's a lot more technical skills involved and uh, it's ideal for our highly trained uh, guys from IBW. A NECA contractor, they can do any kind of work. You know, we can do huge projects, we can do small projects. Um, KNF Electric specializes in, in water projects, especially water treatment plants, and so they were a natural for this position. We feel like we've got an advantage with the IEW electricians. They go through an apprenticeship program, they learn all, all the ins and outs, electrical and controls, and uh, the, the skill level is so much better. And so we've, we've been uh, IBW for many years. The new steel gate system has eight steel gates mounted onto a roller compacted concrete foundation and uses hydraulic lifts to lower the gates. So if we have any water flows in the river, like I said earlier, this is the uh, river system, the gates will lower and then uh, allow the water to pass through without flooding any adjacent areas to the lake and uh, we'd be able to catch the tail end of the storm water by raising the gates and refilling the lake so we don't have to purchase water uh, to refill the lake. We came out here, we had a lot of underground. We had to start with the water and pumps. We had to stop the water, so we had to provide pumps to stop the water from coming up. And we had to run a lot of conduit inside here to get from the south side to the north side, which we are at the control building. So it's a big challenge. We're doing multiple things, you know, from uh, the pipe work we do to the underground, to the climbing ladders, to the piers, working right by the water's edge. There's over 6,000 feet of fiber optic cable that, that, that runs between the piers and the control building. So there's a lot of, you know, uh, instrumentation to monitor and control the, uh, the dam. But the biggest challenge of all, imagine trying to manage a construction site that could be flooded at any given moment. The big challenge is, is you're working in a riverbed downstream of an actual dam that was in operation. Uh, so the big challenge was it's just river flows. We got flooded out on this job site multiple times. Um, there's also a large dam or storm drain that uh, collects all the water from downtown Tempe. So when we have a localized uh, monsoon rain event, water would actually flow through that 12 foot dam at our storm drain. Keeping the dam in fine working condition not only has an environmental benefit, but a profound economic one as well. There has been $1.4 billion of economic impact with businesses going up all around the area. And as far as recreation, it's the second most visited place in Arizona. Since 
Since the lake has reopened, people are back out and enjoying it. A welcome refuge to the desert heat. Yet another high-profile project that the Nika IBEW team is proud to have been a part of. And this one, they can actually enjoy themselves. You can drive by it every day and say, hey, I did that. Uh, it really creates a sense of pride among the members and a sense of awareness of, uh, of our members and our contractors in the community. Reporting for ETV, I'm Erica McClarity. Like what you've just seen? Click any of the buttons on the right and they'll instantly play. Click to visit us on our social media accounts, subscribe to our website or our YouTube channels. Stay engaged by staying connected to ETV.